Arctic goal is to free climb the two major formations in Yosemite, El Cap and Half Dome, in under 24 hours. We came up with the idea of trying the free link up as a team. I hadn't really thought of doing it until we climbed Free Rider together and then that was where we started talking about it and I guess it's just kind of stayed in the back of our minds since then. And so we've got a week to try and pull off a pretty major objective, which it'll be super interesting to see how it goes. Hey Maya, let's get down. I'll treat you to a beer and some and an ice cream and then we'll be motivated. Because that's what's gonna motivate me. I'm not gonna have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well an ice cream then. For myself it would be a huge achievement. I mean Al Cap's about three thousand, half dome's about two thousand, so it's about five thousand feet of vertical climbing. Neither of us have ever done anything quite to this degree. Like, it's going to be pushing into a new realm of try hard. Like, it's really pushing, going to be pushing as hard as I can push. I couldn't have a better partner, though. He's a really fun person to climb with. He always keeps things lighthearted. Mayan, this is important. What's your favorite marsupial? Not a wombat? It's a huge objective and I think the chances of doing it are, are quite slim. Something that very few people have managed to still pull off, especially as a team, and I feel like doing it as a team ascent is a really, really cool way of doing it. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. I'm hoping it's gonna come together, yeah. but I don't know. I really don't know on this one. Whoa. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. Fuck this bitch. Fucking ate it. Ah. God damn. So our plan is to start at midnight to climb the whole lower half of Freerider. We simul climb a lot of the bottom so that we can move through the terrain really quickly. The boulder problem, hope to get there around seven-ish. Yeah, and then backing that up with half dome afterwards. Makes for about 60 pitches. Given the amount of time we've got, we've put a huge effort in in the last four days. Been up free rider twice, half dome once with one rest day somewhere in there. And I'm feeling work today. Like, I just hope I can recover enough in time to, to be feeling like my hands aren't swollen and feet are hating me and putting it all together. It definitely feels like a ways off right now. So it was kind of a, it was a huge ask and probably a pretty silly idea to try and pull off such a huge, like really a massive objective um, in a week. Especially after coming straight off, spending two weeks being very, very full on weeks trying to break the speed record on the nose. Nope. <laughs> Far out. This, this shouldn't be the shit that's giving us trouble, though. <laughs> oh my god. I've got to say that all of our practice goes on Freerider and Half Dome have made me feel really uncertain about the goal. <laughs> Try and reset him. Oh, just fell out. And taken. Uh, why do I get so scared, for fuck's sake? Oh, god damn. Who knows, maybe, maybe if I don't succeed, I'll know what I need to train and maybe I'll want to come back and do it again because it really is an amazing feat of just endurance and what your mind and body can handle. So again, a lot of it's just 
pushing through the pain, just keeping on going when you don't think you can. It's a good, good humble pie, delicious humble pie today. It's a nice, healthy serving for us. I like humble pie personally. It comes in a lot of different flavors.